Now you've probably seen accordion controls used in many websites and applications. They can be useful if you have a lot of content to show in a limited space. This vertical accordion is contained in accordionvert.html in the working files folder. You can click any section heading to view what's inside it. You should also note that the browser back button still works and it returns you to the previous slide. Similarly, this horizontal accordion is contained in accordionhors.html in the working files folder. It's similar in operation except that it's horizontal. And of course the back button still works. Now there are a couple of amazing points to make about these demonstrations. First is that they both use CSS only. There's no scripting, no plugins, no graphics or any other resources. Next is that the HTML for both is identical. This is vertical, this is horizontal. Now each control is contained in an article tag with a class of accordion and each slide is contained in a separate section tag, and each of those has a unique identifier. Inside, there's a title in an H2, and it has a link which points back to its parent ID. The only difference in both these HTML files is the style sheet which is pulled in. So in this one, it's accordionhors.css, and in this one, it's accordionvert.css. We'll look at the horizontal accordion CSS, but the vertical is simply a variation. So first we size our outer accordion element. I've used a width of 43 em. Each section is then styled in its closed state. It's given a width of 2 em and a height of 12 em, which is just enough to show the title in its vertical orientation. So that's defined here from line 68. Note that it has a width of 12 em and a height of 2 em, but it's also rotated by 90 degrees, or minus 90 degrees, so it fits exactly into the closed section. The next important block starts at line 97. This sets a transition on both the section and the title, but here's where it gets clever. We're using the target selector, which identifies which element has target within the page. If we look back at our HTML, you'll see that each title links to its section by its ID. That is the target. So all we're doing here is stating that if a section has target, its width is changed to 30 em, which is enough to show the full content. Similarly, the H2 title inside it is rotated back to zero degrees and has its position and size changed accordingly. So this is a very effective use of CSS3 animation which doesn't rely on hover, but keeps state using target instead. That's why you can click the back button and it returns you to where you were.